Jimmy the Baker's a little off. He's a little obsessed with things when it comes to, you know, how obsessed he is with ingredients. Well, he's got some competition. And the competition <laughs> there is Philip Gibbon. Because Philip Gibbon, when it comes to pretzels, this guy is all pretzels all the time. Nominated for, for uh, Customer Choice Food Awards for best, best New Brand. This is an incredible gift. An incredible, like, celebratory way to take your charcuterie board to the next level. These are pretzel loaves. And they are mouth, I can't wait to dunk these. Oh, yeah. But they're entire massive loaves done by this guy from York, PA. It's called the Pretzel Company. You guys know pretzels. Pretzels are your lives. Rick, it's all we do. It's all you do. It's all we do. You're not doing donuts. We're not doing donuts. You're not doing the cookies. You're no. not doing chocolates. You guys nope. do pretzels. Here's one and two and three. Now, they're all baked in a special way, and you actually don't get the salt on them. That's because they're, 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 they're sent to you wrapped up, and then you heat them up, and then you pull the butter on there, and then you put the salt on, and then look out. Now, why loaves, Philip? <laughs> well, Rick, I want you to look at this. Look, look at look. that. This is exactly how this is going to arrive at your door. That's amazing. My looking. team of bakers, here's the important part. This is hand braided. Hand braided. So back in York, Pennsylvania, when we start producing these for your holiday party, these are going to be braided by hand and arrive exactly like this. Look how golden brown and delicious. And you can see, you're gonna see on your screen here, exactly what this process looks like. Two ship dates, by the way, 11-6 and then 12-4. Three of these is what you're getting. So the hand braiding part, and then they slice these babies up. Yep. Keep going, keep going. So I don't wanna say that I have elves working in our bakery, but really, that's, that's what you're looking at. You know, we are out to make your holidays Super, super special. Elves in are our bakery. Hard. Elfin delicious oh, is what these elf, are. Elfin delicious, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Flour, water, yeast, salt, brown sugar, canola oil, 465 degrees. Look at those coming out of the oven. The oh, here they part, come, man. We do not have a freezer, so as soon as these are baked, we put them in this box. No kind of artificial box. ingredients shelf stable for the next nine years. Nothing, no, they're not. Nothing, nothing like that. Nothing artificial. So this is your love box. Look, this is my love box because it says love. York. Every single box says with love from York. That's what we do. So if you're looking for love to send to somebody, great. This is it. Boy, here's what we got to show. So didn't bring a lot of these in. Two ship dates. Yep. It's what you're gonna do with these. Yep. What am I gonna do with them when I get one of them? And what do you have here? So you got <laughs> NFL Sunday, right? Big playoff games. There's look yep. that's happening in December. Look at that. So what you're going to do here, you're going to take that pull-apart braid. You are going oh. to cover it in mozzarella cheese. It's a pizza pretzel. And then when you and the family are sitting fiesta. around, you're just pulling that apart. Everybody's oh. pulling a piece of that, dipping it into the marinara sauce. Would it be possible to make a pretzel dough French toast? <laughs> well, not only possible, Rick, but let me show you. Probably. Right here. So right here, we've got, look at this. This is a cut pretzel braid right there. By the way, that thing is, is like one-tenth of what you're getting there. Look at that. We're putting a little bit of compote. Imagine Christmas morning. You surprise the family with pretzel braid French toast. I've never, ever, ever had that in my life. Well, you, you could just have made today. my mouth water. Yeah, pretzel absolutely. Pretzel braid French toast. But I, oh, God, look at that. That is beautiful. But, Rick, I want to show the pull apart here. So if we can okay. look. So this is exactly, again, they're arriving unsalted, yeah. fully baked for you. But this is my favorite part. Look how these just That's pull it. That's it. That's it. right apart. And the what pull. you're getting there. What is a pretzel dough? So what you're getting there is crispy brown Golden delicious on the outside. Super, super soft. The right amount of salt. This is the best soft pretzel you were ever going to wow. taste. Wow, look at that. And you know, By the way, these weigh like nine pounds. <laughs> they are so dense. They are, you they know. They are incredibly dense and incredibly But look like, at that, look at that pull apart right there. Look how soft and delicious so it's it not is on a the pizza inside. dough. It's not a pizza not dough. Not a bagel dough. Absolutely Don't not. do that. This is its, its not, own world here. Well, and so we've got a little bit of the brown sugar to get a little bit of a malty sweetness on the inside uh -huh. there. What you're about to dip it in is that horseradish mustard. So, so oh, good. Hello. Julie, come on. Hello. 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 So, funny story. Horse I am not from mustard. Pennsylvania, so I learned about pretzel uh -huh. country from yep. this guy. Yep. And when I was on with Sandra, we had uh -huh. you on for a different uh, pretzel, yep. but I was like, oh, Sandra, I'm not the biggest pretzel uh -huh. fan. I am a true believer now. <laughs> a true believer because oh of this guy right here. So I cannot wait so, to try this. Break I off. Grab, I think you just break. Grab and you break. break it off. Break. Done and, and done. And, 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 do I hear horseradish? Is, 
Oh, yeah. Horseradish yeah. mustard. Yeah. Can so you imagine, you know. like, a couple IPAs, you got a beer, and you're celebrating, mm. and you just lay these out. You're going to one, two, three of them. Yep. Oh. We just pulled apart, right? Yep. Can oh. I, Rick, can I tell people it? how to, well, what do you think? Oh, my God. You oh do this to me every time. I'm telling you, I'm a pretzel believer because of this guy and the pretzel company. That's what I love the to hear. The texture, the flavor, the like perfectness of the salt on the top. Wait, does it come with the salt? It comes with the salt. Oh, quite good. <laughs> okay, good. So you, you 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 do it to, add, to how you want to do it. Exactly. Yeah. You could sugar top these if you want. You you could cinnamon you, these. I would encourage you to well, cinnamon I saw sugar that French one toast of these. Over there. So I was like, let I me can't tell wait. you, when they arrive, they're going to be individually bagged oh, just man. like this. So you're getting oh, three man. of these. Actually. My recommendation is going to be to put two of those in the freezer. This is the guy that you're going to eat as soon as you get it home. You're going to preheat your oven, toaster oven, air fryer, 350 oh, degrees. That's so good. 350 degrees. About five to seven minutes. You want them to be crispy on the outside mm -hmm. and beautifully soft mm -hmm. on the inside. And what that turns into, let's get real close on this one. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is it. What that this turns shot into. Three of these. Is first time ever at this price. First time ever on five C payments is that right there. Endless pull apart pretzel. Again, gorgeous. What is a pretzel dough? So what is that what is your so the hallmark of the pretzel dough is a little bit of sweet, a little bit of salty. Ah. But really, it's all about that brown crust on the outside. That is mm. what That's makes a true Bavarian-style soft so pretzel. I'm gonna get them. I bring them home, mm -hmm. right? Yep. I get three of these as we wrap these up. What's the what's the out of the bag? As almost a thousand people are shopping. What do you do? Uh, sorry, what was your question? Rick? Like when you first get them, what do you do? I do you put, heat them. Yeah, heat them up. Yeah, 400 degrees, five to seven minutes. Mm. You're gonna love them. Love them. Good to have you here. Thanks, Ben. Hey, stay on the line. If you're on the line. Best new brand. Nomination, congratulations on that. By the way, St. Clair's is coming up. Talk about a holiday tradition, not a new